chapter 1.4.3, Hypothesis Deductive Approaches to Research in New Technologies are Highly Presumptuous. Academia, industry, and government could be introduced in analytical bias into their research because of the presumptions that must be made when performing hypothesis deductive research. Researchers are tacitly making assumptions about proof of work technologies like Bitcoin when they use hypothesis deductive approaches to analyzing its risks and potential rewards. They are presuming this technology is strictly a candidate form of monetary or financial technology for essentially no other reason than the fact that its anonymous inventor called it a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. And that financial use cases happen to be among the first operational use cases for proof of work protocols. Based off these presumptions, researchers are almost exclusively using financial, monetary, or economic theoretical frameworks to derive their hypotheses regarding the risks and rewards of this technology. This thesis represents one of a of few exceptions where the author doesn't automatically assume that Bitcoin is monetary technology just because that was its first intended use case. Reference 29. The problem with using the same presumption for every research effort is that it has the potential to create systemic level bias. The presumption could be wrong, or at the very least, it could be incomplete. Bitcoin could be more useful as more than just peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash. An easy way to illustrate that this presumption exists is to observe how, many, how much time, effort, money, and talent have been committed to analyzing Bitcoin based on the idea that proof-of-work technology would only be useful as a monetary technology, that it doesn't have other functionality aside from money which would justify the use of a different theoretical framework to form a hypothesis about its risks and potential benefits. The hypothesis deductive approach to research requires a theoretical framework from which to derive a hypothesis to dedu deductively analyze. A researcher must choose a theoretical framework to use to analyze Bitcoin before they start analyzing it which means they must presume Bitcoin is a certain type of technology before they analyze it. But Bitcoin is a novel technology which may or may not have functionality outside the artificial boundaries of the theoretical frameworks chosen to design or analyze it. It's not responsible to ex I'm sorry. It's not reasonable to expect new technology to fit perfectly into existing theoretical frameworks. One contributing factor to this problem is that it is unclear what other fields of knowledge or theoretical frameworks would be appropriate to derive hypothesis, hypotheses and perform deductive analysis of proof-of-work technologies. Exploring the potential risks and benefits of this technology as something other than a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system is largely uncharted territory. This technology is unique and still quite new. So alternative functions and use cases are either unknown or speculative, making it unclear what other theoretical frameworks to apply, assuming any exist. Therefore, the choice of theoretical framework itself from which all hypothesis deductive approaches to analyzing the risks and benefits of Bitcoin are derived is highly subjective and vulnerable to bias. The capacity for bias is because researchers are making the same presumption that proof-of-work technologies like Bitcoin only function as monetary technologies when they form their hypotheses about Bitcoin's risk and benefits. The author has yet to find a formally published research paper which acknowledges this presumption. Economists aren't indicating that they understand how tacitly subjective and biased it is to label this technology as strictly monetary technology. This observation alone is a red flag. There's clearly a risk of analytical bias because researchers aren't even acknowledging the presumption they keep making and their own capacity for bias. This presents a research dilemma. 
It's difficult to perform alternative hypothesis deductive analysis of new technology when it's unclear what alternative theoretical frameworks, if any exist, to use to derive a hypothesis to analyze in the first place. This dilemma suggests that a missing ingredient for research related to proof of work technologies like Bitcoin is the exploration or development of different theoretical frameworks of, from which to generate hypotheses and deductively analyze it. For the sake of developing informed public policy and on proof of work technologies like Bitcoin, it would perhaps be beneficial to generate a different theory about proof of work technology to guide analysis, something that doesn't regurgitate the same presumptions predominating current research. This is the objective of this thesis.